Warmi Kehakwe, the body, female sexuality, and feminism from the perspective of two Sarwina artists. In 2019, artists Venuka Evanan and Violeta Quispe made the paintings Erotismo Sarwino and Warmi Kehakwe, in which they protest violence against women in Sarwa, a rural Andean village in Peru. Evanan and Quispe are the daughters of Sarwino migrants in Lima and created the works in the style and technique of Sarwa boards, which are paintings on wood produced in that community with various transformations since at least the 19th century. The Sarwa boards, until very recently, have been produced mostly by men and rarely referred to the body, sexuality, eroticism, or gender issues. Where they have, they are more normative in nature and serve to punish those who break the order of the community with consequences, especially for women. When Venuka Vanan and Violeta Quispe made these two paintings, on the one hand, they cause some discontent among several Sarwinos who consider that the boards only have to represent the positive aspects of Sarwa. And on the other hand, they cause admiration in the contemporary art world of Lima since the Sarwa boards have been considered until very recently by the art system as objects of quote-unquote popular arts, and as such they were conceived only as naive objects or representative of an idealized Indian culture. In this presentation, I will briefly review the context of the production of Sarwa boards and the participation of women in this field. Then, I will focus on the work of Venuka Evanan and Violeta Quispe, who use the techniques and figurative style of the boards to represent the experiences of Sarwa women and protest against gender-based violence. In doing so, they question the conventional representations and meanings that have been assigned to the female body in Sarwa, but also deconstruct a series of established perspectives on racialized bodies from dominant groups. Drawing from Maria Lugones' decolonial feminism, I analyzed the ways in which these two artists respond to hegemonic discourse, not only in terms of class and race, but also gender. Finally, I show how these two Sarwa artists are challenging the patriarchal social order from their particular experiences and from there contributing to reshape contemporary Peruvian art. Sarwa boards are paintings on wood made by the people of the Andean rural community of Sarwa, which is located in the Ayacucho region in Peru. Since at least the 19th century, the Sarrinos have been making these paintings on the occasion of the construction of a new house in order to record, through images and texts, the members of the community who contributed to its construction. The main purpose of the boards is therefore to maintain systems of reciprocity and social cohesion within the community. Since the 60s, due to the economic crisis, many Sarwin people had to migrate to the big cities of Peru, especially to the capital, Lima, and from the 1970s onwards, some of them started to paint a new version of these boards destined for the urban market. The new boards initially depicted scenes of rural life in the community, and then from the mid-1980s, they began to depict topics of social injustice, internal war, like this series called Pira Causa and the life of migrants in Lima, like the series Exodo. The first exhibition of Sarwa boards in Lima took place in 1975 with paintings from Primitivo Evanan and Victor Yucra. The following year, Evanan created the, this workshop where he worked with Yucra, Juan Walberto Quispe, and Julian Ramos. In 1982, Evanan Quispe Bernardino Ramos and Valeriana Vivanco founded the uh, Association of Popular Artists of Sarwa, which, will, which I will now refer to as ADAPS, and which continues to this day. When the sale of Sarwa boards began to prosper, the painters began to incorporate more members, especially their wives and daughters. And the way of working consisted of the most experienced painters 
They would decide the themes to be represented. They would make the designs and outline the images. And here we can see Juan Walberto outlining the images. And then the other painters were in charge of coloring the drawings. And here we can see Valeriana Vivanco coloring and also adding the details. And here, Luisa Romani. At ADAPS, Evanan, Kispen Ramos, with the help of other members, largely defined the style and the themes of the Sarwa boards that characterize them till this day. Among the customary themes are festivals and rituals, communal work, agricultural and livestock work, myths and stories, and interestingly, also themes of love and marriage, which are the least, but there are some. In all these images, the Sarwa community is shown as an ideal rural village where nature and culture coexist in perfect harmony. If a conflict is depicted, it is to indicate how the problem is resolved, usually involving exemplary punishment. The paintings referring to these themes of love and marriage, which are not as recurrent as I mentioned, allow us to see some reflections on the body, sexuality, and gender issues from the perspective of the Sarwin people. On the one hand, there are only two themes that I know of in which the naked body has been shown, and these are women's bodies. For example, shepherdesses, and I'm sorry about the quality of these photos, but I took them from Jose Fanote's book, which is a book published in the 90s, and I don't have access to any other of these photograph photographs. But in any case, we can see here how shepherdesses, for example, here we can see a group of women bathing in the river while a group of men watch them behind the mountains. And the women are naked. Or this is the second case, which is Rondai, where you see an unmarried couple having sexual relations and they're discovered by the local authorities. And the only thing we see of the couple's bodies are the women's the woman's breasts. There are also paintings like Makta Kitanakwi, which means to stay with the boy in which two women fight for a man. And according to the text, the one who wins the fight will marry the man and the other will suffer the effects of sorcery. Then we have this one, Maltrato, Mistreatment, which depicts the punishment of a young girl who tries to run away with her lover without her parents' permission. Anthropologists merit Mary Pratt and Luis Millones in their study of this set of paintings indicate that the mistreatment, and I quote them, it is the young girl who is punished for this violation and not the man who takes her away. He remains seated on the horse while the girl is beaten by her father or mother. Close quotation marks. Pratt and Millones contested these images, several of which I have shown you with interviews they conducted with young Sarinos and Sarinas who confirmed many of the facts depicted, but also noted that the moralizing tone and punishments are more present in the paintings than in the testimonies. While in Sarwa to this day, all of the board painters are men, in Lima, since the mid-1980s, women began to participate in this activity. When the board business began to prosper, women began to paint in order to produce more and generate more income. In addition, painting boards allowed women to work while taking care of their children. Valeriana Vivanco, who we see here with her daughter Venuca and her granddaughter Julia, and she is Primitivo Evanan's wife, joined the workshop, and also Luisa Romani, Gaudencia Yupari, Irene Gomez Serna, and then the daughters of the painters who began to participate in the workshop. They also joined. The first female workshop was that of Gaudencia Yupari, who after her husband passed away in 2007, made the decision to leave ADAPS and to continue painting in her own space. On the other hand, the daughters of migrant artists, all of them born in Lima, have gained increasing visibility and recognition. Among them, Benuka Evanan and Violeta Quispe have followed an interesting path that has led them to depict the experiences of migrant women and to use their art to protest against gender violence in Lima and in Sarwa. In doing so, they have addressed issues related to the body, female sexuality, and feminism. 
Venuka Evanan, after participating for many years in ADAPTS, in 2017 decided to start developing her own themes based on her own experiences. She decided not to continue painting the scenes of rural Sarwa because, after all, she was not born and raised in Sarwa and knew more from the stories her parents told her than from her own experience. She also decided not to paint the social conflicts related to the internal war or migration because she was very young at the time of these events. Instead, she chose to depict what she saw in Delicias de Villa, the Lima slum where she and many other Sarinos live, and above all, the experiences and hard work of migrant women. Between 2018 and 2019, she produced work such as El Aguatero de Mi Barrio, which is the water cellar of my neighborhood, or the series about the Sarwino women who have succeeded in the city of Lima. And in 2018, Venuka also produced a work of special significance. She painted her self-portrait wearing traditional Sarwino dress at the Art Lima Contemporary Art Fair, which she had attended a few months earlier. In this image, she is surrounded by a group of artworks that were in fact at the fair. Venuka indicates that through this work, she sought to question why her form of expression, sarwa boards, is not usually considered art, proposing thus a reflection on this absolute, obsolete division between art and popular art. But on the other hand, in the painting, Venuka is looking specifically at the self-portrait made for the fair by the Lima artist Kinieta Varsi. Venuka comments that she was struck by the sight of a naked woman covered by her hair and asked Farsi about her work. The artist explained that she wanted to talk about the freedom women should have to show their bodies the way they want and not follow the rules imposed by patriarchal society. The painting contrasts two forms of empowerment through the body. While for Varsi, showing her own naked body covered with her hair is a way of challenging patriarchy, for Venuka, who suffered a case of discrimination at the same fair for attending dressed in her Sarino clothing, showing herself in the image with the clothing at the fair is her way of self-affirming her identity and protesting against racial and class discrimination. More recently, Venuka, inspired by the work of other Lima artists and contemporary feminist movements, has decided to address gender equality and gender violence, but in more specific relation to the women of Sarwa. In 2019, she produced three extraordinary pieces on these themes. The first of these is Las Varayuj, which represents a group of Sarwina women holding the sticks that are only used by men in Sarwa when they assume a position of traditional authority. Venuka shows the women in this position, which is not something that exists, but something that she wanted to represent, and she shows them empowered and suggesting that they should also have a voice in the political affairs of the community. The second work that she produced in that year is Richariwarmi, which is Awaken Woman, and it is composed of eight painted wooden sticks. Venuka represents the mistreatment that Sarwina women suffer in the red sticks, for example, by their partners, but in the other sticks she represents elements of healing and the possibility of women's empowerment. And I wanted to show you this third piece of artwork, which is the one I'm going to talk about more. It is called Sarwa Erotism, or Eroticism. For this piece, Venuka interviewed young Sarwans, both men and women, and asked them about their sex life. In the left piece of the diptych, she described how most Sarwan men understand sex, disregarding the desires of their female partners, and in some cases, even committing acts of rape. In the right-hand piece, in contrast, Venuka described the sexual preferences of her female interviewees and the respectful way they wanted to be treated by their male partners. 
This part shows two autobiographical scenes that reveal the artist's discovery of pleasure and ends, as you can see at the top, with a scene in which Sarwin men and women receive a sex education class, a desire that Venuka and other Sarwinas have so that, in general, Sarwino men and women can have a healthier sex life. I now turn to the works of Violeta Quispe. She also began painting as a child, helping her parents Juan Gualberto Quispe and Gaudencia Yupari. In 2017, when her father died and she had to help her mother in a more sustained way, she was discovering or began discovering that she wanted to dedicate herself to painting and in 2018, inspired by the work of Peruvian women artists of the collective Trenzando Fuerzas, she began to produce paintings about Sarwina women and against discrimination and gender violence. She decided that through her paintings, she wanted to make women visible and listen to their own voice. As she herself commented to me, she needed to express, and I quote her, we are here, we are present. On November 20th, 2019, the Chilean feminist collective Las Tesis performed for the first time the public performance A Rapist in Your Path in the city of Valparaíso in Chile. This collective denounced the rape culture and accused the state and society in general for the oppression of women. In the days that followed, the performance was replicated in different cities around the world and made the news, obviously. Inspired by this act, via Violeta painted with her mother Gaudencia, and we see them both here, the painting Warmi Quejacui, Woman's Complaint, inspired by the images that circulate of the women who participated in the performance. Inspired by the images circulating of the women who participated in the performance, the painting depicts a blindfolded woman, and you can see her here, a blindfolded woman with her breast exposed and the green feminist scarf. The Sarwino clothing that the, wom the woman wears, however, refers more specifically to the violence that the women of Sarwa suffer, which is reaffirmed by the text next to it which say, only in the province of Victor Fajardo, where Sarwa is located, there is a high rate of rape and most of it is against minors. We complain and they make fun of us. They humiliate us and they undermine our dignity. The state is an accomplice. Also, we can see that there is blood dripping between the woman's legs, which refers to the number of raped women ignored by the state, as well as the forced sterilizations that occurred during the government of Alberto Fujimori between 1996 and 2001, which mainly affected indigenous women from rural and poor areas. On December 7, 2019, the mass performance of a rapist in your path took place in Lima. Violeta, Gaudencia, and Venuca attended and participated. In addition, Violeta and Gaudencia brought a copy of the painting I mentioned to you by of Warmi Queja. After the performance, Violeta made the painting Hanmi Kanki Hukayuk, which means the guilty one is you or the culprit is you, in which she represents herself in the act of the performance. She wears the blouse, hat, and ornament of the traditional Sarwin clothing. She's blindfolded and points at the viewer, as all the women in the performance did. The black background symbolizes the mourning for the murdered women and the red letters, the spilled blood. A frame with depictions of instruments used by men to murder women surrounds the portrait. A third painting that I'm going to discuss is Equeca Sarwina, made by Violeta. Equeco is actually a male figure who, according to the Andean belief, attracts prosperity and abundance. Violeta tells that one day she went to a store and asked for a female equeco and the seller told her that there couldn't be such a thing because women bring bad luck. So Violeta decided, and again I quote her, to create my own good luck from equality. The painting shows the equeca holding a spindle and a distaff in her hands, representing an activity traditionally assigned to women in the Andes. 
However, at the same time, she's smoking a cigarette, which, although it refers to the belief of the original Ikeko that if you put a lit cigarette in its mouth, it's going to make it easier to grant desires, it's also a contesting element because in conservative societies, it's an activity considered improper for women. In addition, the Ikeka wears a mask with the hashtag feminist, not one woman less. And among the elements she carries, there are not only those that will bring economic or material prosperity, but also a suitcase with the words travel and trip, a heart with the words cuya in Quechua and love in Spanish, and a book with scholarships and studies written on it. That is, a series of elements that Violeta considers can empower a woman. Venuca and Violeta's paintings are characterized by representations of the body from a non-academic figuration and by a special emphasis on clothing as a symbol of identity. Both aspects come from the tradition of the Sarwa boards. In fact, Andean painters in Lima have often used this clothing to underline their collective identity, but also to indicate the changes in identity that have occurred as a result of migration. In one of the boards from the series Discrimination, produced by ADAPS in 2014, the painters state in the text of the painting, and this is just a detail, but there's a text below that says, Migrants to the city of Limia are ashamed to wear their traditional clothing, wearing industrial and imported clothes. They lose their identity and culture. End of quote. And we can see there in this painting how they contrast the Sarwinos in Sarwa wearing their traditional clothes and how when they go to the city, they change their way of dressing. But in the case of Venuca and Violeta, clothing functions as an affirmation of identity, even in the urban environment, and they themselves in their public activities in the city of Lima often wear Sarwina clothing. In this way, through their paintings and their own performativity, they seek to challenge the conventional roles assigned to women and to show empowered female subjects. Moreover, they revert to the generalized racism of Andean bodies heightened when they wear the clothing of their communities of origin to claim for the equality of Sarwina women in terms of class, race, and gender. And they do all of this from their own perspective, which is tied both to a collective Sarwino story and to their situation as daughters of rural migrants born on the outskirts of a large cosmopolitan city like Lima. Their perspective is different from that of their Sarwino peers, but it is also different from that of middle or upper class urban women artists such as Genieta Varsi herself, whose work is represented in the painting I showed you of Venuca. By Violeta and Venuca's work is marked by a diasporic identity and is framed in a hybrid and borderline feminism that is constructed from difference and diversity of experiences. Venuca and, Viol and Violeta's approach to the body not only challenges the conventional representations and meanings that have been traditionally assigned to the body in Sarwo, but also deconstructs fixed and exoticizing perspectives that power groups have imposed on racialized Andean bodies. In this way, these artists have not only disrupted a field such as Sarwa boards, which is or was largely dominated by male artists and their perspectives, but they have also challenged the essentialist views that the art field used to associate with the so-called popular art to produce innovative works that I believe, play a fundamental role in the development and reconsideration of contemporary art